and so welcome to how to Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's explain. Sprint is not okay. So in this video, I'm going to talk about Sprint and why it is not okay. So let's get on with the rest of the video. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? So I'm going to be talking about Sprint. Let's go to it. And so we'll go to it right here. So I'll then zoom in and get to its effect. So let's read Sprite Sprint's effect. Uh, two monsters cannot be used as link material. The term it is link summit. You can only use one of the following effects of Sprite Spring per turn, and only once that turn. If this card is link summoned, you can send one level two monster from your deck to the graveyard. If another monster is special summoned while this card is on the field, except during the damage step, you can detach one material from an extra Z monster you control, then target a monster on the field and return it to your hand. So yeah. That's a quite interesting effect there, but this card has an effect that is in common with other cards. With a card like, let's say, Revival Chain, for example, uh, I'll put Revival Ch Chain there on the screen there, and you can get to see its effect. Now, obviously, to summarize Revival Chain, it has an effect that allows us to send a monster from our deck to the graveyard of any monster. What has happened to this card, you ask? Hmm. It's gotten banned. The truth you need to know. Let's go to another card that we have. I'll put it up on the screen in front of you, which will be Union Carrier. Right? Union Carrier has a sort of like foolish barrier effect, as you see it on the screen there. Guess what's happened to it? Hmm. Let's see. Banned. That sounds oddly familiar. Noticing a familiar trend. Cards that tend to have effects that send up any monster from the deck to the graveyard tend to be banned. Wait a minute. That can't be right. I wonder why. What the hell does that even mean? And we have Beatrice. You know the Beatrice, you know? The, the XYZ, the rank 6. Now it's limited to 1. One of the reasons why it's limited to one is because it's quite hard to summon and not every deck can summon it. But best believe it, if this card could be summoned easily, you guessed it, it would be banned. Facts. Okay? And so now we come back to Sprite Sprint. And obviously that effect of being able to send, uh, as we see there, a level 2 monster from the deck to the graveyard. And you know what? For all intents and purposes, it looks alright. It looks okay. Nothing could go wrong. After all, sending monsters from the deck to the graveyard is not really broke is not really broken, right? Balance is made to be broken. I mean it's sending level two, so we've added a restriction there. Surely it's not going to go crazy. Well, I'm going to give some examples here of what we can do with this card and at the moment and how I feel that this may not be enough uh, restriction. Let's get on with it. Alrighty, so we have Sprite Sprint there, as you can see in the extra deck zone. So Sprite Sprint sends Nimble Angler, and Nimble Angler's effect, if this card is sent from the hand or deck to the graveyard, you can special summon up to two, level three or lower, Nimble Angler monster, Nimble monsters from the deck except Nimble Angler, except itself. That doesn't sound too bad, right? And indeed, you're right. After all, you know, it is... At least it's locked to its home. Exactly. And, you know, also, like, you know, we, uh, you know, we can make, we can go into some, some sprite plays. Does not sound too bad. You know, yeah. So I can, yeah, we, I, I can relate to that. Yeah, relate to that. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to the next one. We'll go to, uh, you know, using sprite sprint again. And uh, going and sending Volcanic Scattershot. Now, why would you send Volcanic Scattershot? First of all, let's read its effect. If this card is sent to the graveyard, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. It's a way of dealing burn damage, a way of dealing with time. And also, you're able to destroy, as it says there, you know. So not only do you get to uh, deal 500, but you get to destroy all monsters you control. Obviously, in this day and age, we have, uh, monsters have protection, but still, being able to just deal burn damage within time and have something like that is pretty cool, pretty nifty. 
and uh, definitely to beat up those negates. So yeah, you need to calm down with that. It's looking, it's looking, it's it's, it's looking uh, quite quite silly now, quite a bit a bit dangerous. But don't despair, don't worry. I will go to you know another example. You know, I mean, you know, this one it can be argued that it's a bit it's a bit uh, nifty, but let's go to the to the next one. So we have this sprite spring again. Now, most of the arguments we, we've uh, talked about with Sprite Spin before is basically saying that, you know, like, it, it's locked to its home and the targets that you can send are not really bad, they're quite gimmicky. But what if I told you, because of its materials, we can basically make Sprite Sprint without any uh, Sprite boxes, and we can go into various uh, series of plays. That can't be right. So essentially, we could, especially, we could have Tri Brigade Keras in the hand, discard Favorite Seven Bell, and because of Favorite Seven Bell's effect when it's discarded, it special summons itself back. Right? Normal summon is for nerds. And so, as you can see the, on the screen, you can see several things that can happen. So, with the, the effect of Sprite Sprint, obviously, you would send Kit, and you'd have several things you could go into. You could go into, depending on your graveyard, uh, the Tri Brigade Shureg, the Ominous Omen, Ancient Warriors, Oath the Double Dragon Lords, and the Desperate Doom Eagle. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that uh, name. But yeah, these are several, you know, these are some of the several choices you can go into. Just make Sprite Sprint without the need for any Sprite monsters. But again, it's, you know, it's perfectly balanced. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, perfectly fine. Effects, compass, and everything broken. These are the ingredients to victory. As you know, we can go into stuff like that. You know, yeah. So, no, this is looking a bit sus, a bit suspect, but, you know, who, who knows? Okay, let's go to the next example, maybe? Maybe you might convince, maybe, maybe, who knows? Okay, we'll go here. Sprite Spring, once again. So what can we send? We can send Mecha Phantom Beast or Lion, because recently it's come back uh, to one. So when Mecha Phantom Beast or Lion is sent to the graveyard, hmm... Seems awfully familiar. As you can see from the screen there, it produces a token. So with Sprite Sprint there, you could go into several things. You could, uh, depending on your board state, you could go into a Nightmare Unicorn right there to spin a card. You could further extend to go into Access Code Talker uh, to pop a card and, and, you know, go for game. Or you could go into Savage Dragon. And, and just, just remind you that these are not difficult things to go into, especially if you have a token, right, on your saddle field, which you've managed to do so by sending Mega Phantom Beast line. Yeah, we're st I think you're starting to see where we're going with this. This, yeah, but but you know what? Yeah, maybe maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe it's not that bad here. One moment. I need to look up this nonsense. Okay, let's go to the uh, next example that we can do. Right, so. This is now a bit, a bit of a reach, but you can make Sprite Sprint with the various methods that I've shown out throughout the examples to send three of the following cards. You could either send Undaunted Bumpkin Beast, Synchro Fusionist, or Soul Scissors, as you see right there. So sending Undaunting Beast means that um, if your opponent special summons three times, you can special summon it from the graveyard. So a bit, a bit, you know, it's a bit iffy whether you do that, but you know, hey. It's one of those. Um, Soul Scissors is one that is a bit more promising. If you would send that, um, you can special summon this. You can, while it's in the graveyard, you can just bring itself back and uh, special summon it from grave. And what? And when it is special summoned, you can target one monster for controls and destroy it. So it's a free. So it's a send which revives itself back, and then when it revives itself back, it pops a card. Pretty cool. Pretty nifty. Then we have Synchro Fusionist. Uh, so Synchro Fusionist again. Uh, if it's you could send it to the graveyard, revive it back with elf, go into a synchro summon. If you have a tuner, obviously, and you set yourself up. And synchro fusion's effect is that if it's used for a synchro summon, you can add any card from your deck to the graveyard uh, or spell, sorry, from your deck to graveyard that lists that has uh, polarization or fusion in the card name. So that's a lot of targets that you can be adding there. And also, given the fact that these are the as you can see that the two cards that you can go into, it's either Sprite Elf or IP Masculina. There's just so many things you're going to do. Obviously, this last example is a bit of a reach, but the point is, like, 
there's a critical mass, right, of things you can do with sprint that is way too much. And as we get more and more level twos in the game, but uh, and the fact that sprite sprint is generic, it's gonna be a bit of chaos here. So I definitely feel that this card is not okay. I mean, yeah, obviously it has a bit of restriction there. They have sort of learned their lesson, right? Of not saying you can send any monster, but I think like because we've had, we've learned from past experiences, having an extra monster that basically sends a monster to the graveyard has been considered broken. And we as players, both in TCG and OCG, have had ways to abuse such sort of effects. So I feel it's only a matter of time before this card either goes to one or, uh, you know, gets banned, really, because goes to one really doesn't do anything, because it's, it's, get, it's, it's really looking like that. But maybe I, I could be wrong here. Okay. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My faith, right, is in your hands.